Yeah! It's time to talk about logs. Logarithms are going to be in your life for a while, and let's become comfortable with them. We say that the log base a of x equals y if and only if, that's the double arrow, uh, a to the y is equal to x. This is called the logarithmic form. This is called the exponential form. They say the exact same thing. For example, uh, log base 2 of 8 is equal to 3, if and only if, and the reason this is true is because 2 to the 3 is equal to 8. Um, in what you're doing, you're, doing a lot, you're going to be doing a lot of computer science. Log base 2 is going to show up a lot. Um, by and large, though, natural logs are what we're going to do most of our work with. And so uh, this notation, ln x, and, and one of the things that you need to know is that logarithms are defined only for positive real numbers. Uh, I'll show you a picture of the graph eventually here. But so typically there's an absolute value there. There needs to be because there are no logarithms of negative numbers, not in real, not in the real world, or in the real number world, I should say. Uh, this notation is short for this. And we do this double dot saying that this is the definition, like uh, this is the log base e of x. And that's a terrible looking e. This notation is pretty ubiquitous. Uh, I will say a minute, I'll say something about that in a minute as well, notationally. Uh, e is this transcendental number. It's uh, 2.7 and some change going on the, down the line. Like pi, it shows up just a whole bunch. And uh, it's really kind of cool and spooky. But anyway. By and large, I'm going to be dealing with natural logs because there's this change of base formula that we'll talk about in a second. But I want to show you some properties of logs that make them very important. Uh, and because you could just generically use any positive number greater than 1 for the base, that's typical. We're just going to use e for this demonstration. We're just going to stay in natural logs. If you need to change back the base, it's easy enough to do. Uh, some rules about logarithms. Uh, the natural log of x to the n, and incidentally, because you don't want to necessarily draw the absolute value bars on there all the time, you just kind of keep in the back of your head that x must be positive, right? This is equal to n log x, right? So these come down, which is a really important thing. If you have, if you have um, variables in your exponents. You need to get them down to the ground to solve them. This is one of the tricks that you're going to use. Oh, let's see. How about this? Uh, the log base, the log rhythm to the base, in this case, e is always equal to 1. Uh, the log of 1 is always equal to 0, regardless of the base. Here are some more properties. If you have this, ln x times y, this is ln x plus ln y. Uh, and I'll go across this way. I don't want to get too low. Oh, okay, yeah. ln x divided by y is equal to ln x minus ln y. Uh, these are the primary properties that you're going to use with logarithms and are going to want to become comfortable with. When we get to differentiation, logarithmic differentiation can really make some nice things happen for you. But I think what we're going to do is go to a new board and do a couple problems with this, just so you get the feel of it.